And good day. We are coming on the air with breaking news about an explosion at a border crossing near Niagara Falls. The FBI in Buffalo is investigating what it is calling a vehicle explosion at the Rainbow Bridge, a busy border crossing between the Canada between Canada and the U.S. They had the situation is very fluid. Here's what we know, according to our four senior law enforcement officials that were briefed on the matter. This is video of that explosion that's coming to our newsroom. From what we understand, a vehicle crashed into the checkpoint structure at the Rainbow Bridge. You're seeing it right here at a high rate of speed. It hit the structure, caught fire, and then exploded. An initial search did not find any indications of an explosive device in the car. I do want to stress this situation is very fluid, and this is just preliminary information that we're getting right now. There are two casualties, from what we understand, two people that were inside the car. To be clear, we do not know yet if the incident was intentional or simply an accident. As a precaution, though, several border crossings between western New York and Canada have been closed for now. The White House has been briefed as well, as the governor of New York, Governor Kathy Hochul, is headed to Buffalo right now to meet with law enforcement and first responders. I want to get right to Ken Delaney, our justice and intelligence correspondent. Ken, I also want to tell our viewers that Governor Hochul has also instructed New York State Police and the FBI Joint Terrorism Task Force to monitor all entries into the state of New York. It talks about the severity of the situation right now. Again, all we know right now is there's been an explosion at this checkpoint. But tensions are very high in this country and all over the world because of the Israel and Hamas war. Also, it is a time where tomorrow's a holiday and, and, and people can think that there are soft targets. Talk to us about what your reporting ha has shown you so far and what we think this is at this hour. Good afternoon, Tom. I think you're right to caution viewers that this is a very fluid situation. The law enforcement officials I've been speaking to here in Washington uh, say it's too soon to say much of anything about this. Uh, but as you mentioned, our colleagues uh, Tom Winter and Jonathan Dietz have reported the important initial finding that there was no car bomb inside this vehicle. The vehicle approached from the Canada side to the U.S. border checkpoint at a high rate of speed, as you said, and caused a, a pretty large explosion, which is why there was a lot of speculation initially that there may have been a car bomb. But again, our reporting is that there was no evidence of a car bomb. What remains to be known is whether this was an intentional act uh, or an accident of some sort, a medical emergency. All these kinds of scenarios are possible. What's, what's been clear from the people I've been talking to is they're not ready to even use the word terrorism in connection with, in, with this incident. They just say there is no evidence to support that. Nonetheless, they are being vigilant and investigating. I was also told that um, in addition to the two casualties among the vehicle occupants, one Customs and Border Protection officer at the checkpoint suffered minor injuries, but that there were no other injuries among the government uh, workers at that checkpoint. And Tom. we should talk about this checkpoint, right? It is a very busy checkpoint. At times, it's open 24-7. It connects Canada and the U.S., but there are multiple other locations, other bridges in this area that have now been shut down as well. And can explain to our viewers, because lawmakers have, have brought up the issue about the safety of the border, our northern border with Canada, and if it indeed could be at times a soft target. Yeah, that's right, Tom, because there is concern that the, there are not enough resources, at least that's what you hear from uh, critics in Congress, devoted to uh, defending that portion of the border, given the crisis on the southern border and the surging of uh, officers and resources to the south. Uh, in the north, there is concern that um, there's relatively fewer uh, staffing uh, and resources around those border checkpoints and that, in fact, they could be potentially soft targets uh, targeted from people coming in from Canada. And as you mentioned, we are at a, a state of heightened threat in this country. The FBI director and others have said that the threat from terrorism, principally uh, lone wolf inspired attacks inside the United States, is as high as it's been in many, many years because of the tensions over the Israel Hamas conflict. And so, yeah, that the northern border is a, is a flashpoint of concern, as are many other uh, soft targets across the country. Ken, now. I want to put up the statement we have from the FBI in Buffalo that appears to be the lead agency right now, the lead field office that's taking care of this investigation. Here's what they posted on X. The FBI field office is investigating a vehicle explosion at the range Rainbow Bridge, a border crossing between the U.S. and Canada in Niagara Falls. The FBI is coordinating with our local, state, and federal law enforcement partners in this investigation. At this situation, as this situation is very fluid, that's all we can say at this time. And Ken, I want you to explain to our viewers that even though this may have been an accident, and I, I want to stress at this 
hour. We do not know what this is. But even if this was an accident and it is not terror related, the governor, the FBI, state police, they're not going to take any chances, right? They're going to send all their resources because of the timing right now and because the importance of this crossing. 100 percent, Tom, and because this is a national target. It's not just a state or a local matter. So the FBI swoops in right away. I think it is significant, though, that the Buffalo field office is taking the lead and making the statements on this, not FBI headquarters in Washington. If there was evidence of some kind of terror plot here, uh, a concrete evidence, you may see more of a national response, but we're not seeing that. We're seeing the Buffalo FBI, state and local authorities. But you're absolutely right. They are taking no chances here, uh, particularly because the size of that explosion was significant. It may have been caused by a full gas tank, uh, but nonetheless, uh, it, it raised a lot of concerns right away. Again, our reporting in NBC News is that no evidence of a vehicle bomb was found inside that vehicle, Tom. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.